All right, let's do that without rushing, shall we? Who knows, really? I say that like I know, and I'm expecting you to say, oh, yes, we shall. Except instead of knowing, I'm just horribly angry at that fortress for lying to me and then killing me for my apathy. I'm suspicious of that red tube. Despite the fact there was a blooper in it, it looks like it could be holding a secret of items, or ace coins. I said items because I wanted to go to my item screen. Now, why is there two rows? Oh, I guess there's two rows in case Mario's big and has a penguin hat and whatnot. Looks like there was a row for a second set of items. I was like, oh my gosh, is there going to be like a poison mushroom, a, a water flower, a thunder flower, a hammer bro suit, a maxi mushroom, a, um, um, a star, um, a Wario costume and more. What? Why was the two of? I don't like coin blocks. They don't make sense most of the time. I thought that was gonna either kill the blooper or give me something great. What? I totally wasn't expecting that, and just too lazy to do anything about. It. Okay, I have one penguin suit. That's a number I can afford to part with. I don't know, I'm gonna be getting more at some point in the game, I presume. And I need to quit refusing to use items I want to on levels I would be helpful by them in. Just because they're slightly rare items. And I, this game is a dick and I forgot about that. Yeah, uh, yeah let's, sh let's shoot bloopers across seven eighths of the screen. That's easy to dodge when you have important power-ups, right? That was sort of amusing. Yeah, actually, no, this game isn't a jerk. Most of it's fair. The water physics is terrible, and that is nothing unique to this game. And, yeah, look at me. I'm a boss baz. Let me go through blocks. That's fair, right? Oh, yeah, 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 Mario can move at moderate speeds in the water in games that aren't 3D and or with frog, penguin, Koopa shells. In short, I never... Uh, I want to go find Team Magma and have them drain all the water from actually any platformer games because it's never ever 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 done properly. You should you should constantly move at the speed you do with a Koopa shell in New Super Mario Brothers Wii and the Koopa shell should just make you be invincible underwater or give you a scuba outfit that lets you spit water at your foes. And Actually Kirby games have good uh, water physics because you move the same way as like the penguin does in this except you don't have to have ridiculously rare power-ups and it isn't dumb and I hate it like I like this is dumb and I hate it. And I like how I was doing better the first several goes before this and whatnot, but I assume this is a secret? Yes. It better be a secret that doesn't just kill me like that last secret I found was. I'm guessing those are coins when the P-switch runs out. Okay, this is a good secret. Why? I guess they had to balance out for this being like a triple secret, being two power-ups and a froggy coin. Uh, they had to balance out that terrible secret that way or something. And, oh, right, that's what I'm supposed to do here. Kind of an obvious puzzle when I thought about it. That was a first... So, what? I mean, I guess I wasn't expecting there to be an ace coin in that one place, but what was it supposed to be in there that was worth going into? Is that a punishment for going down random sewage tubes underwater? Because, I mean, that would make sense, but... Okay, I'm guessing I was supposed to use that penguin astronaut suit to get through there, right? Yep, I just sort of get sent straight up, no chance of getting across there. What's this block doing? Is it moving? I think it's moving, or at least the graphics are waveling because it's underwater. And it has nothing of worth in it. Okay, why are there, why are there three bloopers and two che or four bloopers on screen at once? And I don't like water levels. Why is it a good idea to switch platforming, which I'm sort of good at, to enemy dodging? Except instead of enemy dodging, despite the fact you can't attack them, you also can't dodge them properly either because you go ridiculously slow in any direction. You, I really don't like water levels. I'm hoping this is the last one in the game. Okay, I'm gonna guess there's something important over here, and... I don't know, it just... It seemed like there might be an ace coin hidden in there, but it's probably in one of those tubes I didn't care to check out, and I really don't care at all, because I've already wasted half the video on this... on half of this sodding level, because it's so terrible. Oh, what, there weren't any, like, flying bloopers to jump out of the water and kill me at the last second? 
Are you sure you want to be that generous, World 4-4? Four, four? Really wasn't very hard of you to give me any chance of doing anything. And oh, great, a mandatory ghost house. Not that I really dislike ghost houses. I mean, I was the happiest I've been playing the entire game when I went in that last ghost house, but... That's not really my main point of focus here, and you'd better be a new minigame already. Or at least start giving me, like, pairs of one-ups and stuff. To match that one-up, giving me two one-ups. I was actually not all that kidding, because that would be not- Ah, oh, come on, Bowser Jr. already. Okay, I got the important thing out of that. Okay, I got something terrible out of it. Okay, I got another important thing out of that. Okay, I've got half of a fire flower. Okay, I got another pretty cool thing out of that. Okay, I got another pretty cool thing out of that. Okay, I got half of another pretty cool thing. Okay, I lose. Oh, I'm really not doing all that bad here. I only missed two things, and admittedly, they were the two things I probably would have liked most out of all the possible things. Except maybe one of the pe I wouldn't have traded the one propeller suit for a mini mushroom, I guess. But other than that, pretty much I would have traded any of the fire flowers, mushrooms, or stars for one of those. But uh, such mechanics are not really important to anything. And wow, was the new ghost house just mean everything has a secret exit or a secret walls or something? What Mauser? What? 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 Enemies that aren't booze in a ghost house? And there are no eeries in this game? And what? I get a penguin suit here, right? Okay, that was a bit... That was probably a star or something, but do stars let you break through walls? Not to my knowledge? Does this keep going up or something and then I use it to go up? That is actually pretty clever. I am feeling very clever. Is there something up there? Probably. It looks like it was for helicopters, though, because it had, like, zigzags or something. Oh my gosh, I can jump right over it. What? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I was playing a Mario game and thought I was gonna kill an enemy by dropping directly onto its head, or maybe more like diagonally into the hitbox where it can hurt me, but, um... Uh, let's fuel up with a, um, mushroom. Don't really feel like wasting my cool stuff right now. I can probably get, like, a fire flower or whatever the ghost house is gonna give me. Why didn't it have boo mushroom? That would be cool to have a boo mushroom in a 3D Mario game, or a 2D Mario game, despite the fact that it would totally ruin it, and it also was, it would totally have ruined Mario Galaxy if they used it at all. Yeah, the problem with platformers is you can't sort of just give people the ability to jump forever and expect it to not imbalance the game a little bit. Oh, I thought I... I, I didn't think I did, I just... I wished I did so much, I thought it would become true, you know? This music reminds me of Luigi's Mansion, which is good, because Luigi's Mansion has good music. Okay, what's this? Yeah, why can't being crushed do that more often, or it just crushes you too small if you are crushed in a way that would crush you to be small, though I guess crushing you sideways would not crush you to be small, it would crush you to be thin, and Mario cannot be thin because it would destroy him. What is this? Is this like a mini Mario path, or is it just weird graphics that makes me think it's something it's not, like most weird graphics are? Okay, I presume this will be a mushroom. This game is not very nice to me. Not sure if you've noticed or not. Uh, I don't even need to waste a mushroom. I have two minutes to finish this, and I don't really think it's going to happen. And the validity of this as a walkthrough is dwindling even more than it was on the basis of the fact that I'm doing this for my first time. And it's a let's play, really. But, um... I don't know, it should be more entertaining than most commentary list walkthroughs, and I mean, pirate, Australian pirates have had those out already for a while, so I don't really think I'm miscontributing to the world or anything. Okay, go, go, go. I still want to know what those are, I guess they're just coins, but still. Okay, and what is in here, besides the fact that I already have known for a while? 
Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Did those start going running for some reason? Oh, okay, they run when I kill one of them. That's actually kind of cool. Most Mario enemies don't have things like that. I'm not liking these mushroom slash coin blocks all that much, I have to say. I generally like the mushroom slash things that are better than mushroom blocks. Does that lead to a secret exit or something, or is it just like the other one is fake? Oh, it leads to a better chance of... Okay, it leads to nothing. Except the exit, which is pretty cool. And hey, uh, thingy. Oh, uh, hey, I'm not out of time like I thought I might have been. Okay, that was freaking me out, but I didn't die. Alright, cleared one and a half levels, both of which are very short. I am the world's best video game. I will see you in the next part at which we will go to World 3 or 4 or 5 or something, I guess.